The following content is provided under a Creative Commons license. Your support will help MIT OpenCourseWare continue to offer high-quality educational resources for free. To make a donation or view additional materials from hundreds of MIT courses, visit MIT OpenCourseWare at ocw.mit.edu. So the course covers material um, uh, uh, intended to uh, uh, give the students a sense of uh, both the fundamentals, uh, physics and chemistry, and dynamics fundamentals of a modern energy conversion system, and tools to help them analyze um, the performance of these systems. Uh, the course has uh, students' participation from mechanical engineering, from chemical engineering, and from nuclear engineering. That's why we have three different numbers. And has uh, guest lectures from these three departments. The course has both an undergraduate version and a graduate version. We teach them together, and we have students from the two levels sit together. Uh, they are graded differently depending on whether they're undergraduate or graduate, and <clears throat> the load is also different, but the material covered is the same in both versions of the course. One of the reasons why we started the course is we realized at a certain point that energy without education is extremely dangerous, that especially engineering students need to have the level of understanding and the sort of tools that they can use to analyze and distinguish between ideas that may work and ideas that may not work. And we felt at a certain point that perhaps we were lacking in terms of giving the students the kind of framework they need to use to think about energy, both from the physical science point of view, what may or may not work, <coughs> as well as its impact on our life in terms of the environmental impact, people interactions, and, and obviously the economic impact, uh, whether, whether it's affordable or not. And Putting the class together, we were very much uh, aware of that need. In this class, we're uh, uh, using a different philosophy. We're, we're, we're using the same set of principles to analyze these potentially dissociated uh, uh, concepts, but analyzing, analyzing them in a, in a more unified way. And to make sure that the point is clear, we also use examples constantly to see how one can draw on different tools and ideas to analyze complex system <coughs> and at the end of the day learn something about their performance. The course is primarily done in lecture format, <coughs> but again, um, every year out of, um, every week out of four uh, uh, hours of lectures, we usually spend one of these hours in recitation format where we encourage uh, questions and inquiries, as well as cover some of the problem-solving techniques that we we need in analyzing energy system. Uh, in the second part of the semester, when when students have to do their project, uh, we spend more time talking about how to do research related to projects and give students some time to uh, give us some feedback on again, research methodologies and tools. I think some of the unique aspects of the class is the fact that it's interdepartmental. Uh, most of our courses are owned by single departments and faculty within that single department teach. <coughs> In this case, we have faculty from three different departments and we invite faculty from even outside the three departments to tell us what they're doing within the context of the class. So the educational component of energy is extremely important in the, in the sense that uh, w without knowing what the impact of what we're doing on our life, it's, it's uh, 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 nearly um, impossible to determine what approaches should we be taking, both in the short term and the long term.